Nifty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. I'm going to be introducing my new Ink Color Club in this video and share what you will get in the Ink Color Club. And then I'm going to share my returning offerings of product shares. I have an entire cardstock share to show you. So I'll show you what comes, what's included in that after I'm done showing you what's included in the In Color Club. All right, so I started this In Color Club as a way for my customers to collect all the ink colors. You can pay on my website. It's not a friendly website. This is not the Stampin' Up! website. I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to offer it there and I can't offer it on Etsy, my Etsy shop, and I can't offer it on eBay. I'm required to offer it on my personal website. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I did the best I can with this store. The button that says add to cart is not very, very easy to read, just so you know. But I do give a link in the description of this video on where to find it. When you get to the page, you're going to see something called In Color Club. And so it's going to be $40 a month and you're going to get billed. Well, I, I just, after you, you pay the first month, then you're going to get billed every month via Etsy. Not Etsy, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Via PayPal. Okay, via PayPal. So I, I will create an invoice and I'll send you an invoice and you pay for the whole club via PayPal. But you don't pay it all at once. You pay $40 a month. And at the end, you're going to get extra little gifts for staying with the club. But you don't, you're not obligated to stay with the club. But it would be great if you did because a lot of times I have to buy things in five packs. So I'm going to explain that. Like I, if, you, if you quit the club halfway through, I've already maybe bought your pack of markers because I have to buy them in a five pack. Maybe I didn't buy all your things, like your ribbon maybe, but I bought a lot of your stuff so then I'm kind of get stuck with it. So I hope that you really do stick it out for the whole five months, but I understand the financial complications. And then what I'll do is I'll shout out to some and say, hey, I have a few months left of the In Color Club if anybody wants to join in. All right, so with that said, we're gonna start with pale. So everybody's gonna get pale papaya first. That's because it's my favorite of the in colors. And you're going to get these little swatches I made just for my In Color Club. I made these swatches. I have special swatches. I made other swatches that you may have seen me make using the scan and cut. Okay, so these are like my VIP customers get these with their catalog survival kit. But for my In Color Club, I've actually put extra special ribbon on it that's not as part of the In Color Club. It's a special pale papaya ribbon. And I've embossed them so that they can really get an idea of what the what these card pieces of cardstock look embossed. So the five in colors, we're gonna start month, month one of May. Right now it's going on, sign up is right now. And then I, when the catalog launches on May 4th, I'm, I'm able to order the rest of the stuff. I can order, I can order everything. I have some, some cardstock now, but I can order the rest. Okay, and then that's it. Then middle of May, I get the things and I send them out, but it could be possible that I get delayed and it doesn't come to you till end of May. But my, right now the signups are open. I, when they close, I'll just take it off my store. That's all. I, I, I close after I get like, I just want to get like multiples of five and then because five people will share the, the club in a certain way. So you're going to get pale papaya in May. And then everything I'm going to show you is the same for each month, but with a different color. Okay. So hi, Joanne and hi, Luis. So you're going to get, the first thing you're going to get when you join is the ink. Okay, so I'm just showing you one. You're going to get one ink pad, pale papaya, okay? You're going to get one refill. This has been open. I don't have, I don't have one that's not been open but yet, but I, I am going to get more. So this is, this is, you're going to get a refill that goes with that ink. Okay, so you could do a lot with that. The reason I want to give a refill is because there's things you can do with the refill. Like we can color our embossing paste and do fun things like that when you have the ink refill. Okay, you're going to get a Stampin' Write marker. Now these I do have to buy in a pack of five. Okay, so I, each month you'll get like the color that's the color of the month. Okay, so you'll get pale papaya first. So this is, this is like a dye-based marker. And then these are alcohol markers. You're going to get... The blends and you're going to get light and dark. I like to put so there's a thick side and a thin side. Okay. Okay, in a little while I'm going to show you some things I created with these in colors after I get done showing you what these are about, what these card shares about. I mean the the shares are about. 
All right, then we get Stampin' Blends Open Weave Ribbon. Okay, so what, what I do is I get the ribbon. Here's what the ribbon comes in. And you're going to get a fifth of a roll. That's why I need to get clubs. I hope, I'm hoping to get like a multiple of five, right? So because I'm going to split this ribbon with five people. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the rest. It doesn't really matter. I'm never going to have extra ribbon. So what I've done is just to make a couple samples, because I used so much of this on my, I used, I used a lot of this. We were only allowed one roll of ribbon each color for the pre-order, and I've already used it on making these swatches. But here's what I did to show, because I wanted to show an example and start getting this ready. And I made labels, so this is, this is how much you'll get. So you'll get like a fifth of a roll. So in other words, if there's, there's a roll, and it has, say, 10 yards in it, right? I got glue dots hanging everywhere. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there's 10, I'm just making sure that I get this right. So there's 10 yards in a roll of ribbons, in a roll of ribbon. And you're going to get two yards each, each month of whatever color we're working on. And I'm just going to roll it in whatever extra funny, fun, not funny, but fun things I have to roll it in. So I was able to roll a couple, but then that was all I had left. I used up my roll. Okay, so I'll, I, I'm going to have to order that on May, May 4th like the rest of you. I can't order anything ahead of time. It just all has to be ordered May 4th. All right, when the catalog goes live. All right, so hi, Caroline. Oh, thank you. You don't live in the U.S. Oh, so you couldn't, you couldn't sign up for this. Yeah, you have to be in the U.S. Thank you, Caroline, for saying that. But um, we definitely need to be in the U.S. That's one of the rules with Stampin' Up! We can only sell to the people in the U.S. Okay, so in color designer series paper. It comes already in six by six sheets. Here's what it looks like. And you may have seen a lot of this during my unboxing. Okay. So here's a full pack of designer series paper in color. But you're going to get four sheets a month. So you'll get two of each design. See how there's two designs? Double-sided designs. See that? So you're going to get two of each of these designs. And you could do, you know, you could do a lot with these, with the making little Oh, you'll see. You'll see what I just did with them. Just little accents on your other projects. Very fun. So I'm going to show you how I package them too in a minute. So you're going to get those. You're going to get... I'm just making sure I don't forget anything. Shimmer Vellum. Okay. Let's find one of these that's already open and then... Okay. Shimmer Vellum is really nice. I, I just did projects with it. And Shimmer, you're going to get a couple sheets like this. They're going to be cut six. They come in 12 by 12 sheets, but you're going to get them in six by six sheets. You're going to get a couple at a time here. You're going to get two of those already cut up in six by six. And I know I have an example of how I packaged this somewhere over here with my stickers and everything. So I'm getting it ready now. I'm starting to get the labels ready and the things I need, the bags. Ombre gift bags. Okay, here's the ombre gift bags. So that's another thing I have to order as a whole pack, but you're going to be getting the color that goes with the color of the month. So this is, this is the in color. You'll be getting two of these ombre gift bags, the pale papaya first, but I have to, I do have to order them as a set. They're very nice and you can stamp right onto the bags and they're very nice gift bags. Very, very big too. Okay. Ombre gift bag. In color cardstock, four card bases, scored and folded. I have an example of that, but you're going to get, so you're going to get I'm going to take these and score them and fold them for you. Unlike the cardstock share, which I'm going to share next, in the cardstock share, I do not score and fold them for you. But I'm taking them out of this pack and I'm scoring and folding. And I did one as an example. So we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, and then we have um, medium white envelopes. I'll show you those. And coordinating embellishments, one pack. Now, it's going to be like a frenzy May 4th. I, I have a feeling. So we never know what embellishments are going to run out like right away. But I'm thinking the first embellishment you're going to get is something called the... Genial gems. Genial, genial gems, genial gems. And they look like this. And even though this is not an ink color, it looks, looks look a lot like soft succulent. It's not. This is actually mint macron because this comes from another suite. But this is pale papaya here. And the reason I'm going to start with this one is because this is pale papaya. And because I know I know a lot of you are going to probably get the things that go with this, like some some other sweets of products that will go with that color. And it also has the pale papaya. In it. And I'm going to start with it because I don't think it'll run out on day one. Right? That's why I'm going to start with it. Where I think the in color little gems that I use for my other projects, since we were only limited of one, they might go on back order. And I don't say run out and I don't want to panic anyone because it's only crafts, right? We're not going to panic anyone. 
But and when I say run out, I don't. We don't really run out. We just kind of go on back order, and then things take a little longer. And you know, we have shipping delays. So you're going to get a pack of embellishments. I'm not cutting them up into little samples. That's a pack. You're going to get a whole pack. Each month will be something different. There'll be other. There'll be in color gems. I'm going to get them as soon as I can. There's going to be another in color gem, another type of in color gem, and there's going to be these really cool. One month you're going to get these. Not the first month. I don't think. I mean, look at again. It just depends on what I'm able to get. I'm going to be right there on May 4th. You're going to get these one month. That's going to be your pack of embellishments. These are the little loose flower flourishes. So that's what you'll get one of the times because they go, you'll get it one of the months either when we do a fresh, it was called pale papaya or the month we do polished pink or the month we do fresh freesia, right? Because those three colors are in these. Okay. Um, you'll get... Okay, so that's it. And then at the end, you're going to get two extra packs of embellishments. If you stick with me till the end, the five months, I'm going to use the rewards because when I buy all this for your five people, like I do five at a time, and then like I buy all this and then I get, I get rewards because I buy all this, so you're going to get the rewards. I'm going to get things like this. I'm going to get cool embellishments. No, no lame-o embellishments. They're all going to be awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you cool, cool embellishments, whether they be silver epoxy stencils or opal rounds. You'll just get a couple of really cool packs of embellishments at the end. Something that's, you know, really cool and that I was able to get along the way. Maybe even extra the in color gems. Okay, so that's 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 that. That's the in color club. Now here's what it looks like packaged up. Sort sort of looks like I'm gonna show you. So unlike the cardstock share where I don't cut the cardstock, for this one I'm cutting it and I give you four A2 card bases and they're gonna be cut and scored for you. And I use my scoreboard and my my spatulas and I make them real nice and not wonky right so you're gonna get two that are like this and two that are like open like this okay and that's when in my cardstock share I don't cut them for you because different people have different preferences on how they cut their cards so this is two full pieces of cardstock already cut up for you and then I put it in a little piece of cardboard right I've got a little piece of cardboard there to help protect it even though the whole thing's going in the box and you're going to get four basic white envelopes. So you're ready to go. You're going to need your own white card stock, right? Because that's not part of the color club, but you get four envelopes. Okay. And I know my customers will have the basic white card stock, hopefully. If you don't, you tell me and I'll put some in the first month. A couple of sheets just to get you started. You got to have something to stamp on. Okay. That's what that's going to look like and all sealed up in a bag and protected. And then these is what I'm going to package these something like this with the pale papaya. DSP. These are my, these are the bags I, I use for when I do DSP shares. So that's going to look something like this, right? Isn't that pretty with the four, four different patterns and double sided. And then you're going to, with the piece of cardboard that I use, that I use and um, from my other packaging and uh, two pieces of in color shimmer vellum. And I'll show you examples of what I do with the in color shimmer vellum. You can emboss it. It looks really nice. So that's the in color club. If you're part of my team, I already told my team like at my meeting yesterday, I said, hey, you know, you already had a chance for the last whole month to buy the ink colors. If you bought any ink colors, you wouldn't join the club, right? It, it just, it's, this is for someone who has none of these colors, right? None of these colors. Now the little trays don't come with it, but you know, you could get the trays and start collecting stamping blends and you'll have them all. Plus it, what's nice about using PayPal each month when you get invoiced is you could sell, if you sell any crafts, then you'll have PayPal money and you can reinvest it in getting yourself some new ink colors. All right, so that's the ink color club. And I'm just going to see who else came in here before I do the cardstock share and say hello. And uh, I already said hello to Caroline and hello, Selena and Joyce. Okay, we're going to now, sh now show you the cardstock share. So the cardstock share I also have typed out. Now this is not new. You can even take a picture and go right to the website. This is this is not new. I did it last year, the cardstock share. And I just I did, you know, packaged it a little differently maybe and you dip, with different in color collections. So I just want to talk about that one right now. There's I do have also what's called designer series paper share and I have a deluxe designer series paper share. I just don't have the visual examples of these yet because I, I can't get a hold of most of this stuff yet or about half of the stuff. Half of the colors we weren't even allowed to get yet. Half of the patterns of paper and half of the deluxe. But I do have the card stock so I, that I can show you the whole thing. And I'm actually going to mail this exact sample out that I'm showing you. I'm mailing it out. 
very soon because um, this is a team member has already has already got this. Okay, so we have an in color collections. This the so that's one thing you'll get and you'll get a bag. Everything's in bags, and you're gonna get full full sheets of cardstock. Oh, thank you, Selena. I appreciate that. And I'm just showing you these colors because they're so beautiful, right? I'm going to I'm gonna keep them in my order, though, in the order. In the order that they're in the bag. Why am I flipping them? It's cardstock. They're the same on both sides. I don't know why I'm flipping it over. I just want to put it on that side. So that's the Fresh Freesia, right? Hi, Honeybees Stamping Hive. Okay, this is uh, the Polish Pink. This is the Evening Evergreen. This is the Soft Succulent. This is Pale Papaya. Okay, that's the one in color collection. See, I have everything labeled for you, right? But I'm just showing you now what, you, what they are, just so you can see our beautiful color collections. And if you, if you, just so you can see the vastness of our color collection. Okay, so this is Cinnamon Cider. This is the, this is the, these are the new colors that are coming out for two years. This one has one more year. They came out last year, now there's one more year of these in colors. So you get Cinnamon Cider, just Jade, you get Bumblebee, you get Magenta Madness, and you get Misty Moonlight. And while I'm here, I want to compare Magenta Madness to Polished Pink because you might think they look exactly alike, but they're really not alike when you put them right next to each other. So I'll compare those two. I'll just open, I'll just, let me flip that back around. So we have, this is, this is Polished Pink, and then this is Magenta Madness. Right back here. See? See how different they are. And um, they, the, and, and of course, these coordinate better with each other. These coordinate better with each other. This is more of like a hot pink or, you know, what I would call a hot pink. All right, so those are the in-color collections you're going to get. One bag down. So I've showed you 10 of the 55. So you're going to get 55 whole pieces of cardstock. And the price includes shipping. But, of course, there is a little shipping on my site. Actually, it, doesn't, it does and doesn't include shipping. If The shipping is $4 for, like, anything on my website. But when your order gets up to... If you order any anything, like my, my designer says paper samplers or something, and your order is up to fifty dollars, then you will get you will get another you'll get free shipping. You can select free shipping. Okay, I'm gonna show you the neutral collection. Neutral's collection. I should have kept this open, so you might hear the little bag ruffling. And you might be thinking, that doesn't look neutral, but there are some colors in the neutrals collection, and neutrals kind of go with anything, which is really nice. Okay. Oops, let me keep that there. Let me keep that there so you can see it, right? So I can see it. <laughs> so we can all see it. So we're going to do, we're going to do Mary Merlot. Okay. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm showing you the colors here. I'm showing you the colors for this cardstock share. Okay, so Mary Merlot Early Espresso, Soft Suede, Crumb Cake, Sahara Sand, Gray Granite. See, that's kind of a pinky gray. It's kind of like it looks a little. It looks like a pinkish tone to it. Smoky Slate, which is I would call like a a nice light gray. And then basic gray, which is a dark gray. Mossy Meadow and Night of Navy. So that's what's called our neutrals collection. That's been around for a couple years. What's new each year is our new in colors. That's what's new each year. But they we haven't we didn't do a color revamp this year. Let me get that little stick. If you're here, say hi because I can see uh, 19 people watching. Hi Linda. Hi Diana. All right, I see the eyeballs, but I can't see the actual names unless you say hello. All right, so that was the neutrals collection. Now, I'm going to do the subtles collection. Okay, I'm showing you what's in the subtles collection. You're going to get one of each of these sheets. Like I said, I should have kept the bags open, but so be it. And we need to we need our cheat sheet here. Blushing bride. Okay. And by the way, my husband helped me sort these. What a, what a great guy, right? <laughs> helped me sort these into the bags. Okay. Um, Calypso Coral. Hi, Cheryl. How you doing? Cheryl from Arizona. Petal Pink. 
So saffron, and it does look like yellow, right? But it's just kind of like a pale yellow. You, you can you can compare that pale yellow, this so saffron, to, to like an actual daffodil delight, which I would call a true yellow. Soft sea foam. This is soft sea foam. Um, pear pizzazz. Mint macaron. Okay, let's look at those gems that you're going to get. Right? The gems we talked about earlier that come with the In Color Club. I'm going to try to give these the first month. Check those out. That's mint macaron. Isn't that cool? So mint macaron, dun dun na, and pale papaya, dun dun na, go together. What does that make pale papaya? It probably makes it part of the subtles. I mean, if you were to put it in a collection, right? But we don't, we put it in the collection. It's in the in color collection, but it would probably be in with the subtles otherwise. Okay, pool party. Did I say pool party? No, that's pool party. See, that's kind of between, it's somewhere between this balmy blue and the mint macaron, the pool party. That's balmy blue. I love balmy blue for the, it goes with the paper. I, I used so much of that last winter with the Snowflake Splendor paper and Highland Heather. So those are what's called our Subtles collection. I keep sticking to those bags, right? What I'm doing now, if you just got here, is I'm going over all you're going to get inside the paper share, uh, the cardstock share, I should say. And then I'll show you what, I'm going to show you some cards I just made in the video from yesterday that you, a lot of you watched live or, yeah, in color cards. Okay, let's see, neutrals, we've done the neutrals, we did the subtles, we did the neutrals. We'll do the regals and then we'll do the brights because brights is my favorite. So I'm going to do regals next and then I do brights collection and then I'll do the basics. Okay, sorry for the rumbling sound, crumbling sound. Okay, so we have dun, dun, dun. the regals. The regal colors are real red, cherry cobbler. See the difference between the different kinds of reds in there? That's the cherry cobbler. Very nice for Christmas time. Okay, um, Cajun craze. Very nice for autumn. So is this one uh, pumpkin pie? Crushed curry, nice mustardy sort of color. Crushed curry, uh, old olive, old olive. Garden green, it's my least favorite green because I like, you'll see I like shaded spruce better. See, this is my least favorite green, but I love this kind of green. This one's called shaded spruce. I mean, we have so many greens. Okay, shaded spruce, blackberry bliss. That goes with the ice cream corner suite. I've been using that a lot. I got a whole pack of that just for me and Rich Razzleberry. Okay, so that's the Regals collection. And I have to put them back in the bags because my table, if I don't, my table will get so full and all mixed up. Wait, and put this with the real reds facing up. And then they'll get all mixed up and then I won't be able to mail these. Because somebody, you know, is. This is this one's accounted for. I've been this has been going. I announced this a while back to my team, and then my VIPs. I told them in the mail. They got snail mail with some announcements about this. So this is the first time I'm announcing it on YouTube. I hope my bags are still nice, even though I opened them. I hope they still restick. Yeah, they do. They restick. That's good. I want to make sure my bags restick shut. All right. Good. 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 All right, that's Regals, and then I said I would do Brights, and then I'm going to do Basics. So this is the Brights. This is my favorite of the collections. And in a minute, I'm going to show you something I made with the Brights as well. The Brights and the Ink Colors. That's what I'm going to show you, some card examples. Are you the first time you've seen Paper Shares, Selena? Oh, they're really fun because you get to sample a little of each. Well, if you were to buy every pack of paper, it would cost a fortune. So you would just, well, I buy every pack because I use every color and I buy every pack. But other people just want to sample our Stampin' Up! colors to see which ones they want more of later, maybe. And to really get a chance. And I want you all to feel this cardstock. It's such high-quality cardstock. So that's the reason I really like to do a share. Because I like my customers to really get to see the high-quality products. Okay, that's Poppy Prayed. See, that's like a kind of an orangey red, right? It's the color of like the paper pumpkin boxes. So very similar to the color of the paper pumpkin boxes. It's called Poppy Parade. Melon Mambo. 
Flirty Flamingo. Mango Melody. Daffodil Delight. Now that's, I call this a true yellow. This is a true yellow as compared to that So Saffron, which is like a really pale yellow. Granny Apple Green. Oh, how I love this really bright green. Granny Apple Green. Coastal Cabana. These, these two are just awesome together. These two. Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. Okay, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay. Great for ocean scenes. Pacific Point. Great for the Whale of a Time Suite. And Gorgeous Grape. So those are the Brights Collection. Right now I'm going to show you something I made with this Brights Collection. With the last Paper Pumpkin Kit, I recolored some watermelon. I might have to do that. I might have to color these watermelon. If, if I have time before the catalog goes live, I'll show you how I colored my watermelon. Because it would be, it's just so fun to use different color schemes. All right, so this is, remember we had the Paper Pumpkin Kit. I don't want to say remember because a lot of you don't get the paper pumpkin kit. But if you saw my video recently on the paper pumpkin kit, this was this was a this was a card I made with the Brights collection, and I kept talking about the Brights collection. And now you know what I'm talking about. That's the Brights collection. I showed the designer series paper. That's gorgeous grape. That's Bermuda Bay. This is Granny Apple Green. Then I colored with the Brights collection to know that it would all coordinate. This is Poppy Prayed, Poppy Prayed, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green, stamped in Bermuda Bay. The card base is Daffodil Delight. Do you see how that all works? I didn't have to think. I didn't have to go look up any color charts. I didn't have to go, oh, I wonder if these will go together. They're from the same collection, they go together. They automatically go together. So, right, so that's what you do. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the, in contrast to that, okay? In contrast, look at this. This is the In Color Collection. Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, Soft Succulent, Stamped in Evening Evergreen, Polished Pink, Soft Succulent. I use Cinnamon Cider in there, okay? This one, background from the uh, Pansy Petals, Pansy, Pansy Petals, yeah. Soft Succulent background and Polished Pink card base. Do you see how that works? There's the in-color ribbons. See how that works? You get two different, totally different looks with the same stamp set when you use the different color collections. So colors matter. If you ever look at your cards and go, ha, ah, I wonder why my cards just don't look right. And I, I see this all the time. I want to call it my, I, I would call it what I would say, rookie card making rookie mistake is not coordinating the colors. Okay. And it's something doesn't look right. And that's why if it doesn't look right, it's because the colors don't coordinate. There's, there's no theory behind what you're doing. This is a whole different color scheme. Bermuda Bay still, that's from the Brights collection over here, but now I'm talking about now the color scheme that goes with the paper pumpkin kit itself. The Blackberry Bliss goes with that. The old olive, right? This is this is from the kit itself, terracotta tile. Look how well these colors go together. A whole different set of colors. Okay? This isn't the same as that. That's not the same polka dots. This is old olive. This is granny apple green. Totally different greens. Okay? It just works. It just works. Where was I? Now I'm at the end of the I'm at the end of card structure. So here's the two choices, not choices. You don't get a choice, but I will send you one or the other. So you're going to get Right now I got the early bird special going on. I'll let it go on until probably about a week from now because I'm so late announcing this. Um what what the early bird special is this. You're always going to get this no matter what. Like later, that's your 55 pieces when I say card structure, you're going to get 55 pieces. But right now I got the early bird special that I've I've packed up these like you're going to get these colors that you can't get anymore after May 3rd, okay? These are retired colors. These are retired from last year. I hoarded some of these from last year, so I'm starting to make some basics early bird specials with that one. Thank you, Sandy, for your comment. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're learning a lot from my videos. This one here is not a tutorial, but it is definitely informative. Definitely informative in other ways. All right, so where were we? Yes, Linda. Linda asked a question. I'm glad you're finally asking questions here, guys. I'm glad someone's asking. Polly. I see Polly on there. Hi, Polly. You're, you're my very first uh, In Color Club member. So you'll see an email from me. Okay, Selena, is, she said the first time she's seen a paper share. Now, Linda says, is it one pa page from each collection? Yes, one piece from each collection. So like this is a collection, so you're not going to get one. You're going to get every one of each piece. 
One of every single color. Okay? Now here's the basics and here's what's going on with the basics. Is I give you the different ones so you can really feel the difference. And hi Debbie. Okay, and I said hi to Sandy. Okay, there's a difference. You can I just wish you could feel it, but you can't feel it, but there's there's a difference. This is called regular whisper regular basic white, right? And then this is called thick basic white. So you would make the card you'd make a card base out of the thick basic white. And you would use this one for the insides of your cards. You know, like these cards. Let's see if I did it inside. See? That would this is when you would use the regular. Never waste regular, never waste basic white thick in the inside. It would be a total waste. It would be too thick for the inside. So only use, use the thick basic white for the card base itself. Okay? So that's what you use this thin one for. For stamping and things. Okay? Okay. Make sure I do it in order because I want to make sure I put that down. So i got to put it back in the package. So that's the regular and that's the thick. I do the same thing with very vanilla. And sometimes I get the paper and it's like this. It's not... I, I sometimes can't do anything about it. I, I don't want to send it back to Stampin' Up! But there is a little ding in that paper. I'm sorry, but the, sometimes there's dings in my paper. And sometimes there's dings up in the corners. But hopefully they all work out and you can make a good card out of it. And I always give you something extra in the pack anyway. Something fun. Something extra. Okay, that was the regular vanilla. And then there's the thick very vanilla to make card bases out of. And then you get one piece of basic black. That's, that's kind of thick. It's, I would say it's as thick as the very vanilla. It's pretty thick. But I, I don't use it for card bases that much. I use it for layering. Then you're going to get one of each of these retired colors. Retired meaning as of a couple of days it'll be retired. Right now it's it, it, a few of these are available, but but a few are not. I mean I don't remember which ones are still available, but I hoarded, so you guys are okay with this. The bonuses I give you are what I've hoarded for years now. I've been hoarding extra paper. I, I panic when it think it's going to retire. So I got Rococo Rose, okay, Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock. See how this collection goes together. Right? See that in color collection? I'm going to show you something from it. That was Pretty Peacock. Seaside Spray and Purple Posy. Now let me show you something from here. I just have these. I just happen to have these out because it's in my bucket of crafty goodness. I've got some embellishments. This is. These are the colors that are retiring. And I don't know if these embellishments are still on sale, but they were on the last chance. For only like, they were like half price. And these are, these are like the in color, in color butterfly gems. And I love these in color butterfly gems. But look how well they go. They're part of, you know, they're from this in color collection. Isn't that neat? So these colors go together so well. So you're going to get five of them. Or, now when I run out of that, okay, let's put that there. When I run out of my little stack of these in colors, because I didn't hoard that many, and then some I've been using, right? When I run out of those in colors, <laughs> Yeah, I used discontinued. Look, I, look, I saved these ones too because you know what? My favorite one from last year is called Dino Roar. It's a Dino Roar suite. It, it was, it's retired. It's from last year. It's really whimsical and cute. And I used it a lot. And so I saved a lot of these colors from the year before. And I still use them. I mean, I every time I send my friends cards, I don't use always current colors. Maybe my customers, I might use current colors. But my friends, they don't know the difference. They These colors are awesome nonetheless. So this this early bird special may include, like if... if I might just randomly include, sometimes you'll get an early bird. I don't know which early bird special you're going to get, in other words. You might get the lovely lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, Call Me Clover, and Blueberry Bushel. That might be your early bird special. I don't know, because it just depends on what pack I grab. I just started making these packs. I didn't make, I didn't actually finish these packs yet. i got to put the white paper in them. But you get the idea. That's your early bird special, five extra pieces of cardstock. Let's just say May 7th, even though... I would have normally just made it May 3rd, the early bird, but the problem is I'm going to be, I'm, I just announced it, so that's not fair if I just make it only like one day or two days. Okay, so now that's it. I have other shares going on, as I mentioned. Now, let me show you the cards from yesterday or from the last, the last video I did. Okay, I'm going to show you what I was working on. I, I decided to work with the in colors and the shimmer vellum, and I said, I said, oh, it'd be really fun to um, make, use them for my swap. So then after the video was done, I, I made them all for my swap. So I'm going to be using these for an upcoming swap. I'm using it for my 12-person swap because I didn't really have enough for the 26. I told you I have two swaps coming out. One I needed 26 cards for. One I needed 12. So I'm going to use this for the one I needed 12. Okay, so you see how these ink colors are coming together. I shared how in the last video I did how to emboss this piece of 
shimmer in color shimmer vellum and this is the in color designer series paper and then I use several stamp sets to stamp this including new stamp sets that you're going to be able to get May 4th the sentiment is from the beauty of friendship friendship re friendships refresh the soul I love that sentiment so that's where this sentiment is from but then I also use stamp sets that are available now for my hearts and flowers and little things like that so I did here's the little hearts and here's the little sprigs and here's the little here's the little flower from the hippo see the little flower but you could have just as easily used what's called lovely you which I've been using a lot of okay so these are the finished cards I'm just going to go through and show you all the finished cards there's the evening evergreen and each one's a little different and in the, halfway through I had an epiphany that I should be matting these putting an extra layer of matting so I started matting some putting matting and layering and yeah don't you love the embossed vellum Linda I know I do too and hi Veronica if I didn't say hello and Jan hello Jan I don't know if I said hello to Donna and Denise Ooh, South Dakota cool all right cool so these are these these are the I'm, I'm literally out of I think I'm totally out of those little in color bling bling now I might have like one or two little rhinestones left but see there's the pale papaya each one's a little different but it's still it's still swapped so then I started saying hmm I don't have enough swaps to do I didn't have enough of the ones this is the top the reason this is the top is because these butterflies are facing they're like they're up I couldn't have made that the bottom because the butterflies would have been upside down right so I started taking the other pieces I used the basic border dies to cut out this cute little border and some have dashes and some have dots and see how these have dots and it looks good on the bottom too so some of my swaps will have this color on the bottom and there's the soft succulent and some are going to have the piece of embossed vellum on the top see how much better it looks with the matting I should have just done that extra layer of designer series paper matting behind it it just gives it contrast without it sometimes this sort of blended into the card base too much this piece of designer series paper so that's what you can do with your in color card club you can take your pieces of designer series paper and you can you know in add them to cards like just do extra little accents for the cards okay you see how each one's a little different just because of the way I did the paper now here's what I did when I told you don't worry about making mistakes when you're crafting I said do not worry you cover them up with embellishments so this is how awesome my hubby is I said to my hubby I said oh please you're sitting there watching TV please punch out butterflies for me so he this is look at this he punched out butterflies he punched all these out for me and what a guy so then I embossed them with the tasteful textiles um, in 3d embossing folder and I just popped them up with some dimensionals this is how I covered mistakes I accidentally did a couple extra I had a little mistake there with the stamping and being the extra sprig um, this wasn't a mistake the what this was the mistake but then you need three remember I keep telling you you need three or you need some kind of odd number of embellishments so I had to add, I couldn't just add one butterfly I had to add three I might add butterflies to all my cards but the thing is we're trying to go with um, current products when we do a swap and this, this is a swap amongst you know local demonstrators we're supposed to use current products and this is a retiring product but it doesn't mean I'm not going to use it for my customers and for my my friends I'm gonna I mean I have I have like so many of these look how many I embossed already like I've been embossing and this is my bucket of crafty goodness see I just I've been embossing loads of these I'm ready to go so I, I I'm gonna be using these doesn't matter but when you do a swap you try to use current products because the the point of a swap for demonstrators is one of the points of it is for them to share the cards with other, with customers and then the customer says I want to get that and they can't get it anymore and they get frustrated now my customers though I know you guys listen to me when I said that the butterfly duet punch is only seven dollars and twenty cents and I've been I, I've been saying it I can't say it enough that punch is only seven dollars and twenty cents to punch out butterflies and you can punch out big ones as well Let's see if he punched any big ones I think he only punched small ones I'm sure I have big ones somewhere but anyway it, con it punches big ones and small ones and it goes with another stamp set that's retiring called butterfly gala okay here's ones that I didn't finish yet because I don't have the card bases done but you get the idea so everyone looks a little bit different and here's I started to use the genial gems I covered up a rip by putting that gem on top of that one I covered up a little rip over there 
I told you to be careful of this vellum rips and I, I gave you some tips and tricks on how to keep it, how to mount it and keep it from ripping and how to cut it so that it, it, it lines up exactly with the paper. See what I mean by ripping? This one's already ripping. Then what I did when they ripped a lot is I, I just took some glue and glued them down and then I started using my fingers and started embossing some ink on top of these too. And that looked really nice too. Embossing, the, embossing I mean coloring. Coloring with my fingers some over the, some of these. And then I need bling on these. But see, this one's already mounted on a piece of design stage paper. So that's what I did since the last video. I've been busy. See how this doesn't go? It doesn't go. I mean, it goes. But you see how it's too, there's no contrast? I mean, it actually looks pretty nice on a fresh freeze of background. But, fresh freeze, yeah. But I think it's going to look better when you have that little matting layer. See? And you put it like that. Because then you got that contrast. It really pops it up. And then, of course, when you add the butterflies, they add a lot to it with the, this is the butterfly duet punch, right? And then, but when you add another layer, another dimension of, you're using textured butterflies, right? Now we're talking. So whenever you have a rip, whenever your little vellum rips, or you want to cover up a mistake, you know, you can use your contrasting. And there's five colors to choose from, so you're always going to have something that'll contrast when you have five colors of butterflies. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview of my in color offering in color club and cardstock share offering and showed you a follow up as to what we did yesterday and what I made with those. So yeah, the border, I really like that border die as well. You can, you can make two cards at once. And I said, what I, what I was telling the last group is it reminds me of like a mouth, right? With that being the bottom of the mouth and that being the top of the mouth and you can make like a monster the top and the bottom of the mouth. Oh, the possibilities are endless. It's just going to be so much fun. All right, well, that's all for now. Thank you guys for popping in, and we will catch you next time. I'm hoping next time we'll do something with the scan and cut. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll make some layered watermelons and color them in too. Have a great day, my crafty friends. Bye.